Helldivers 2 just came out, so let's give this a try. Man, I can't believe we're actually gonna become Helldivers. Yeah, me too. I can't believe I'm a Helldiver now. It only costed me my entire wallet. So yeah, after Welcome tweaking my settings, I head over to the training area. I learned how to crouch, I learned how to climb, and I learned how to die. This game also stabs you with no mercy so you can heal yourself. And after finally receiving my gun, I started shooting. Wait. <laughs> I don't have ammo yet. Anyway, so I started... No, let's reload that. Right, let's start shooting the insects. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna use this grenade to seal up the hole. Pretty simple, right? So that's how you prevent them from spawning again. You just put a grenade inside their hole. That sounds weird. And then there's something called the Herbital Precision Strike. I like how you need to press like uh, keys in order, like left left up to activate this stratagem. This stratagem is my lifesaver in this whole playthrough. Jerk. Salute for democracy. Alright, so let's begin the battle. I keep forgetting to reload. <laughs> right, we have our SMG. Bullets are pretty scarce in this game. So the only way to get bullets is either loot them from the camp or summon a supply beacon. And the cooldown is like 3 minutes. So if you finish all your bullets in under 1 minute, you have basically no bullets anymore. But that would be fine if you have killed everything already. Alright, it's time to start our first mission in the game. Well, I spawned in an area that's that looks pretty safe. Like, there's nothing around us, no bug or something. I got familiar with the stuff, with the stuff surrounding me, like this exploding barrel. I believe that this is gonna be very useful later. So after walking about, I finally discovered some enemies. There's like bugs everywhere. So basically, they take. I'm not sure if they take like one to two shots, but I'll just shoot them twice just to make sure they're dead. <laughs> so make to make sure we don't waste ammo, we only reload when it's, it's empty. Because in this game, it's not by ammo, but by clip. So if you reload a full clip, the clip is gone. Anyways, yeah, we cleared the first wave. And there's another wave. They're not really that hard, but look. But touching these stratagems, it takes time. So I need to change my keys to different keys. Yeah, so far so good. The game is fun like this. Kinda easy right now. Cause I guess this is the tutorial stage, or I don't know. I see some bugs trying to attack the base or something. Yeah, I slowly take care of, took care of them. Uh the only thing I need to think of is like hopefully there's no bug behind me. So I have to listen very carefully if there's like sound cues that there's something behind me. Oh the barrel is useful. Look at that. So yeah, I tried calling the resupply beacon. I kinda uh, can't remember oh the keys that much. It's down, down, up, and right. So yeah, it's it's very hard for me to remember these inputs. Aside from the orbital strike, it's very simple. Right, right, up. So that's like already ingrained in my brain the moment I saw it. So yeah, ooh, we get like a lot of ammo here and probably grenades too. Everything, I guess. So yeah. For now, let's go. We're loaded already. Oh, there's more. I wish I could zoom in farther on this site. I honestly have mixed feelings regarding these things you need to complete for the mission. Because sometimes it has puzzles and I'm in a situation where I feel very, hmm, that there might be enemies <laughs> nearby. I'm kind of scared like, while well, I'm tweaking this, something might attack me from behind. So yeah, after touching touching the screen, we've uh, finally went to the next stage, which I don't know what to do. But basically, it's just to turn on these valve things, then swipe up. <laughs> Fun! Mission completed! So after activating the extraction shuttle, I need to wait for like 2 minutes. And within this 2 minutes, we gotta defend the base. So we can get home safely. There were a bunch of bugs, but I quickly 
use my orbital strike with my stratagem and we can easily take care of those spawning for now let's just take care of the small ones are trying to push through and we got it I'm just gonna throw this grenade in case there's many pushing the cooldown i think for the orbital grenade is two minutes i did not really check properly but anyways we got this all right i think i don't like these bigger ones because i'm not too sure how many bullets i need to waste on their face uh for the small ones two is enough <laughs> all right. oh my god they break structures like that i like how i dive and just aim afterwards so cool Alright, so let's just maintain our distance have visuals and every enemy that's approaching so we don't get surprised with by our, on our behind i mean so yeah i haven't really gotten hit a single time in this game i've been just killing everything they can't approach me and finally after two minutes we've been extracted and we will now return to our ship Right, for our next solo mission, we're going to eliminate the Brood Commander. So let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> I just played past the rock. Oh yeah, it, it delivered me to the nest itself. Not even like a few distance away from it. I had to engage in combat very fast. But anyways, they're no match. I'll just need to maintain my distance and like kill them one by one. And there we go. We need to locate the brood commander and destroy it for now let's stay safe and deal with all these random small features three two one boom i don't think i hit anything by that but i'm surely gonna use it on the brood commander probably gonna destroy it in one go It takes me so long to activate the supply beacon itself. But anyways, we're safe. I just wanna resupply my magazine. Now as you can see there's a lot. We we need uh, a lot of ammo. We only have like two magazines stuff. Democracy. Alright, so we have full magazine again. We're fine now. I'm not too sure which ones are the holes, so I just destroyed these glowing orange things. They're probably the ones where it spawned. So here's the brood mother. It's very tanky, as you can see. It took all of my magazine. I quickly activated. I'm gonna activate my orbital strike real quick. And hold it in place so that it activates it. But don't move, you little shit! Don't move! Don't move! Come on! I'm not sure that it hit that brood mother, but it died. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the impact. I'm gonna my bullets itself killed it. So I cleaned up of what remains in this place. There's just a bunch of small insects. So I'll put a grenade inside their hole to make it explode and not spawn again. Yeah, I think I'm doing the right. I think I'm putting it in the right hole. I'm not sure. So yeah, look at that icon. That's a new gun right there. I'm gonna pick it up. But the moment I step on it, I did not know there were grenades. <laughs> These were annoying. It didn't really deal a lot of damage, but it's mostly poison damage, ticking. But yeah, it wasn't a problem. So after going back to pick up the gun, and I keep forgetting that there are mines like this, I picked up the anti-material rifle. And dang, I was excited to use this. But still, I'm still gonna clear out the bug area. Why not? So how do I freaking snipe? But then the game told me that I can hold or click the middle mouse button and it would change mode. And now we have a sniper. So cool. Let's go. After resupplying myself with supplies, I headed out to the next area where I needed to defeat a brood commander. So this was it. There were a lot of bugs here. But yeah, they're just the small ones, no problem at all. I was planning to use my rifle on the broodmother, but this is fine. 
And since there's more bugs on the left side, yeah, the, our, the strike would be great. But if they're not moving faster. It didn't hit anything at all. Anyways. As long as there's no, nothing behind me, I'm fine. That's actually a reason why you need teammates in this game, so someone can watch your back. These monsters are pretty slow. Boom! <laughs> I love this rifle. I wish I can use it each round of the game. So with a rifle on hand, I snipe a bunch of big bugs from afar. Yeah, you like that? Bam! That's for democracy. For democracy. So I'm gonna maintain some height while well, they push up to me. This is gonna kill them one by one. Except the small bugs, I can't ignore them for now. Never mind. Yeah! Our riddle strike is really good. As long as it hits. Oh, finally, something hit me. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Got this. Alright. Let's keep running and shooting. Be mindful of our surroundings. Alright, we're good. Oh, I finally see the hole they're coming out from. So let's throw a grenade inside. Oh, wait. It pushed up and went the grenade. Oh my god, they just threw it. They're like, the moment it came out, the grenade got pushed away. I think I'm doing this wrong. It's not closing. I'm gonna stick it inside. Oh, yeah, careful. There. It's inside. It went inside. Boom. We cleared the area. I think it's done. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's call our resupply beacon to, re to restore our grenades. We need more. Ouch. There's actually a bunch more bugs farther away from here. So I decided to just snipe them. <laughs> so I think this might be... No, this is like just the normal bugs. I'm not really sure what the broodmother looks like. But probably more threatening than these guys. The sniper is really fun. I wish this was my primary weapon. I'm not sure if I can change it in the in the menu once I return home. So I destroyed another base camp of the scripters, so there won't be any more spawns here. So I continued clearing the area while searching for the brood commander. It should be like one more brood commander, because I already killed the other one of the other nest. Hey, okay, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, I like the dive jump, right? Wait, I was using my rifle. I like how you dive, then you can aim straight up. Yeah, let's grenade these guys. <laughs> so I finally found the brood commander here. My plan is to put the orbital strike, lure it there, then stop it in its track so it gets hit by the orbital strike. Don't move! <laughs> Yeah, that was a genius plan. We have finished the mission, we just need to be extracted now. After activating the return beacon, I, I forgot what it's called. So yeah, we just defended the area until it arrives, then we can go home finally. Alright, so let's use our sniper to take care of these big boys. Bam, bam, bam. There are a supply hole for this little one. Right. We're done. Let's go home. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Alright, so for this next mission, we'll be trying out a medium difficulty. The solo master race. I'm not sure if they're getting tanky. But they probably have the same HP. We just have like a different monster here. This is like green giant ladybug. I don't know what to call this. It's not ladybug. <laughs> Ladybugs are red in spot. But anyways, look at the damage. I'm almost dead. Good thing we have our syringe. We need to resupply fast. Hopefully my orbital strike hit it. We need to call a resupply shovel here. We need to restock on our lost supplies of ammo. Honestly, these bugs are not giving me a break. There's so many of them. 
I guess that's why it's called medium difficulty. I can't imagine if it was hard. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a giant bug again. My one full clip of a magazine can't deal with it. It's too tanky. I think I'll need a missile or something to one-shot this guy. Anyways, let's just keep running and clearing the small ones. We should be fine. But the problem is, this green bug actually runs very fast. And there's two of them now. They're just throwing all of my grenade at their face and it doesn't seem like they're dying at all. And, and again, there's full damage in this game. I keep forgetting about that. So yeah, let's run for now. Let's reload. Let's restock. We're fine. So yeah, I, I also have another stratagem called the machine gun. So I'm gonna call it now. Because I think we'll need the heavy machinery. I mean, heavy... Heavy... <laughs> heavy attacks. I mean... Uh, anyways, a lot of... A lot of, a lot of bullets in their face. So yeah, we have the sh machine gun now. So I'm pretty sure these bugs are gonna charge at me anytime soon. And there they are. Just spray bullets in their face. And one's down. Let's go. But there's more. Wait, I reloaded by mistake. Oh no. So yeah, oh, there's even a brute commander here. Oh my god, there's even someone behind me. Alright, we're fine. Yeah, spray. The recoil in this thing is crazy. It's just like the game said, don't move while shooting. But I need to back off or I'm gonna die from this. Okay, so we got this. We're fine. Oh. <laughs> We're covered in blood and insect blood. It's it's getting crazy now. I uh, just hope that they don't spawn more. Our mission is to kill like about 125 of these. We're we're halfway there. I think. <laughs> oh wait, there's so many bud mothers and, and uh, like I said, my entire clip of freaking machine gun doesn't cover this. Let's orbital strike this guy and leave. Stay in place! Don't move! Don't move! Oh my god, I'm stuck! Ah! And I died. <laughs> but I guess the thing about this game is you can respawn anytime. I'm not sure if there's a limit to it. But yeah, let's go round two. Round two. Hey, someone in my face already. I was sprayed with bullets. I'm already taking a lot of damage. It's crazy. Going? Oh, I need a stronger gun. I'm not sure if that game gives you stronger guns. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm just dead. <laughs> ah, it's called the Bile Warrior. It's not a Brood Commander. But anyways, let's go again. Round three. <laughs> I guess that's why this is a squad third person shooter, not a solo third person shooter. God, they hurt so much. We only have one more syringe left and some magazine. We're fine, we're fine. Grenade! I really don't know if these are the things that spawns them, but let's just destroy them. And there's the other giant green insect again. No, oh my god, I'm just gonna keep running away forever. And now he's telling me to return to the zone, but I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Round four, let's fight, let's go! Alright, this time for sure. Let's be careful now. Let's use all of our grenades. It's not like we're gonna explode a bunch of nests anyways. There's three of these giant green things. Oh my god. Oh, there's four actually. Okay, hopefully that hits them. Hopefully that hits the other three that's chasing me down. Boom! It did, it did. Nice, nice. Now we're, we're, we're safe from the big ones. Oh, there's... It did... Only one got hit. And yeah, there's two more. Oh my lord. Oh, I died wrong. Oh, full damage. Oh, little one die. Oh my god, we got fish. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep running. So grenades, shoot them. We're almost done with our quest. This is horrible. I need some squad mates to help me. My DPS can't can't keep up with their big amounts of HP. Okay, there's a lot of bugs here. We got this, we got this. Spray, 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 spray. Okay, okay, run. Wait, I don't have any more syringes. I'm probably gonna die again. Ah! 
Alright, I'm back. Let's go. Where are you? Let's just spray their faces. You just need four more kills. Oh my god, that hurts. It didn't really hit, but it felt like it hurt. <laughs> so I guess for the big bugs, they require like two clips and they die. It takes a while. But now I know, I can estimate when I can kill one. Oh, we're done! Okay, there's the the beacon that we can return home. We're gonna be, we're gonna go home alive, even if we died already like five times. I don't know. I don't know what's up. How are you living again? Okay, they're clear for a touchdown. Let's kill all the monsters and go head over to the rescue pod right away. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go home. Yeah. So yeah, this is my uh, gift experience for Hell Snipers 2. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the solo experience. Yeah, this game should be really fun if you have friends to play with. But solo experience, it's not that bad. But I guess we need to be getting better if you want to play solo. Thank you.